welcome back to Nat's Beautiful Life and Nat Vember. Uh, today's video is going to be just a very relaxed video. I'm in my jammy pants and a t-shirt and I'm just chilling. <laughs> um, but this is a video that I really wanted to do for a while. I'm going to go ahead and apologize and get out of the, you know, out of the way. Um, I rely a lot on natural light and it was supposed to be a bright sunshiny day and it's not so it may be a little shadowy and I may be very bright in the face with these false lightings um, but whatever um, hopefully around December January we'll have a whole new system for filming so that'll be awesome but till then this is what we've got we're gonna make the best of it alright if you're new to this channel my name is Natasha Medina I am a freelance makeup artist business consultant and blogger and I am so happy that you're here with me today go ahead and subscribe click that little bell because we got to do that now for some reason and um, yeah let's just get going so today's video is going to be in three parts I will put the time stamping up here somewhere so if you want to come back um, and just kind of look at different parts at other times you can do that or you know review things um, but the first thing is we're just going to talk about the Jaclyn Hill palette I'm going to talk about the best ways to use it um, talking about it um, and then we're going to do a tutorial on this look so um, I'm going to do a few swatches but not swatch the whole palette I will link Jaclyn's video down below where she actually swatches everything so if you'd like to see that you can I feel like there's a million videos with people swatching it um, I don't feel like there's enough videos telling people how to use it so that's what I'm gonna do so first of all let's go ahead and get started talking about the palette so the Jaclyn Hill palette um, is a collab. It's right now it's filthy because it's white packaging and there's no way to keep it clean. Um, but it is a palette by Morphe. I don't know if you hear my dogs behind me, but sorry if you do. Anywho, um, and it's really pretty. The colors are gorgeous. Um, what is, what is this like? Thirty five shadows. One two three four five. One two three four five six seven times five. Thirty five. Thirty five shadows incredibly pigmented incredibly beautiful but some of the shadows are finicky now first thing I will say this is a $38 Morphe palette is it worth $38 yes absolutely and I got it um, I had to order it from Morphe so with shipping and all of that it was like $45 I think $46 something like that totally worth it no problem my favorite eyeshadow palette of life is the chocolate bar palette it was $49 and you get this many shadows and to me this is worth the $49 these are incredibly high quality pigmented shadows they're Too Faced shadows whatever um, this one is a Morphe palette it is known for, Morphe is known for having inexpensive giant palettes for affordable, affordable prices. And I'm perfectly happy with what I have um, with the price that I paid. Now, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette and all that are in Ulta now. They weren't when I bought it. So, um, you know, we have to pay, we had to pay shipping back in the day. And I know if you lived in Canada, the shipping, it was still a $38 palette, totally worth it, but it was um, shipping, customs, all of that stuff, and people were paying over $100 to get this. Is this palette worth $100? No. Um, if you want to do a $100 palette, do a Natasha Denoto palette or something like that. Um, but if you're a Jaclyn Hill collector and you love this stuff, whatever it costs, get it I mean if that's what if you want it get it whatever I'm not gonna tell you not to get this palette um, but now I believe Ulta is in Canada hopefully I'm not wrong on that um, so hopefully this will be more accessible to you so yeah go pick it up it's great now here's the thing with this palette this is one of the rare instances where an inexpensive palette and here's the thing, I think a lot of people are getting so mad at this palette because it has Jaclyn Hill's name on it and they're forgetting the Morphe part. And I'm not knocking Morphe shadows. They're great. They're great. Um, 
But once again, they're they're Morphe shadows. They're known to be, you know, to, that that quality and and you know what they are. Um, but they're they're forgetting that this is an affordable brand, and so they're getting mad that they pay thirty eight dollars and all the shadows don't work. They do work. They all do work. But they're not all like butter. Like, I, if I paid $130 for a Natasha Denona palette, I would expect to be able to grab any of my fluffy brushes, stick it in any type of shadow in here, and it work and be pigmented and fine. Um, but you're not going to get that with this, but they still work, okay? Um, but this is a rare instance where all of the shadows, the matte shadows, are perfection. All of the matte shadows work. All the matte, <laughs> the matte shadows blend out and all the matte shadows are pigmented. They're great. The, the shimmer shadows tend to be a little bit finicky and that is not what we're used to. So I'm going to show you an easy way to, to get past that. So uh, for instance, some of them are fun. So, I'm gonna, I don't know how much is in this frame. My frame is not as big as what actually shows up on the computer, so I don't know what actually shows up, all right? Doing the best I can here today. Um, but one that I use a lot is called Sissy, and that's this one here. I can use a brush with Sissy, and, okay, you know what? Let's put some something on the back of my hand. That'll work a little bit better. So I'm gonna take some foundation. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand because I find that a sticky base or some sort of base at all will help these adhere a little bit better. So I'm just putting some foundation. So that shade Sissy, I can actually take my brush and I usually stipple stuff on my lid anyway and I can get a really good shadow. Um, all of these, and I just swatched it with my finger, all of these swatch well. There's not a, a shadow in here that doesn't swatch well. Um, where are my where are my wipes? Okay. Um, but there are some shadows that you're not going to get that. For instance, the one on my lid. Well, that one actually worked a little better. It's you can see it's not going to show up as brightly. Now, if I didn't have that sticky base of that foundation on. It would be a little bit crumblier. Ta da! I don't even know if you can see it. But that's just like putting it on. Okay? This purple one that I've got on. Yeah, this one's a little messy anyway. But yeah. S swatched. Look at that sucker. Alright? Now I'm going to try it with this. Okay. As long as I have that sticky base on, I'm okay. But a lot of the shadows in here, like I said, are finicky. So, um, where's one that I know is... This one could be a little finicky. Man, that... It's working really well over this foundation, but you'll see. It's not... It's kind of icky looking right there. Swatches like that. So a lot of people are like, use your finger. You know, you can use your finger. It'll be fine. A lot of people are fine with that. A lot of people don't like to use their finger on, on their eyes. If you have claws, and I apologize, I don't have any nails going on today. I took everything off last night because they just needed it. Um, but if you have claws or <laughs> um, any type of long nails, you can lose that precision that you really want. I feel very far from you. Let me scoot up. There we go. <laughs> you could feel... Um, you know, like you've lost that precision, like you don't have that um, way to really get that in that crease if you want to do a cut crease or something like that. And so that's a problem. Um, now let's say, I'm going to dry my hand off. Let's say I did use a, let me find one. Good group. I have a million brushes here. And I always am like, where's the one I want? And I have like 12 of them. Um, so let's say you try to use a flat brush and you just want to, here let's do this, um, and you just want to like pack it on with a flat brush. Okay, my arm is wet. <laughs> this is trying to make a liar out of me, but you see, 
packing on it. But once again, with the wet, you know, there's actual sticky base on there, you'll be fine. Um, but sometimes even that, once you start to, let's say you want to get it in there. And this is why I actually did a tutorial with you. And you want it to, it'll start to blend away. That was a weird swatch. You'll get it on there, and it'll start to blend away. Once again, that's how that swatches. So you wanting this on your eyes is a problem when you're getting, you know, this. Or, like I said, that. Alright? So, I want precision in my eye makeup sometimes. Other times I just blow it all over the place. But I want some precision in my eye look. But I also want that deep color. So I was like, huh, what is something I could use that's kind of like using my finger, but isn't my finger, where I can get some, some precision. And it was like it hit me in the face. All right, I keep a whole tub of these, like a whole package of these, and backup packages of these in my freelance kit, and I never use them because I use washes. And I just have them in there for backup. I use brushes on brides, I will use my finger, um, things like that. I just never use these, but it dawned on me. Why not? Because we're kind of in that, that stage of we're professionals and we use brushes and we use other types of things. But I thought about all of these sponge tip applicators that I have. And with a sponge tip applicator, you can actually get in there and you can cut that crease and you can add whatever you want and blend whatever you want and it's great. So, swatch with my finger, swatch with my sponge tip applicator. So, I've been just keeping a stack of these because I went on vacation um, last week and I did not take this palette but before that every day since I got the palette I've been using it and trying it out and playing with it even just sitting here at night before I take my makeup off and taking my eye makeup off and playing with it because I really want to get a feel for this because you know I haven't heard a lot of people complaining about it but I know that there are a lot of people complaining about it because just because and I feel, <laughs> you know, it's it's because it's Jack got Jacqueline's name on it. It really does. Uh, you know, and Jacqueline, I've never met her. I don't know her. But, I mean, people are like, she's changed. She's this, she's that. Well, yeah, she's changed. We all do. We all grow and get older and evolve. And I am an OG Jacqueline Hill subscriber when she was filming in her kitchen. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think she has to put on airs for anyone, I just think she is who she is, and at this point, you know, people are going to love her or hate her no matter what she do, she does, so they're like, whatever, we'll just, she'll just be herself, so, whatever. Um, but I just feel like that has a lot to do with it, but also the fact that some people just don't know how to play with some of the finicky shadows, and some of these are really finicky. Like I said, they've been performing really well on my arm today because I've been have putting shadow and or putting water and and foundation and stuff on it. But but you kind of get the point. How when I take some even a flat brush or a regular brush and just when it's dry, uh, just on a dry surface, it's not showing up at all. It gets crumbly, um, and not all the shadows are like that. Like I said, that sissy shadow, um, the one right beside it. These um, technically here or technically pretty much in this little area here. I don't have a problem with um, with anything, but some of the other ones to get that full effect, you know, I kind of, I just kind of grab these and I just have been keeping them on here and, and going with it. So, once again, this is not a bad palette at all. I don't regret purchasing it. I think it's worth every penny of the $38. They probably could have charged more and would have been fine. Um, but I really really enjoy this. I, I love that you can get such a variety of colors um, with just the one palette. I mean, you've got a lot of fun stuff. So, I, I can say that before I got this palette, I had I had been in a rut a little bit with my own personal makeup, not wanting to play and doing the fun stuff. 
And I had just recently got back into wanting to play with more stuff. And I was pulling out my um, Eyes on the 80s palette and some of my NYX stuff. So, like, a lot of the cheaper makeup that has all the fun colors in it. Um, so that's what I've been um, doing. Because a lot of times I feel like we don't want... we Colors that maybe we think we're not going to use every day, we don't want to spend a lot of money on. And that makes sense. Um, so that's probably why we're more apt to go to a lesser expensive palette to get the fun stuff. But I had kind of been a little bit more ignited in playing and doing fun stuff with my, my eye makeup and with my makeup. So when I got this, and I honestly, I bought it for the shadow here because I was actually had been mixing, using other palettes, but mixing an orange and a yellow from a BH palette to get this color. Um, for a lot of my fall looks. So when I saw that this had this in there, I was like, you know, it sold 38 bucks. I am in love with teal. It's on my eyes. So, yeah. Those are just kind of my simple thoughts on the BH Cosmetics palette. These are actually, I think, these ones. But you can buy sponge tip applicators. You can, for like 3 bucks, you can get like 60 double-ended ones at Sally's. So you get 120 for 3 bucks because they're double-ended. Um, but, yeah. So I hope that this helps you if you've had this palette and are just like, I don't know how to make it look like she makes it look. Um, just, you know, like I said, you can use your finger. Always use a sticky or wet kind of base. And the shadows will last um, with their vibrancy. You know, if I wear this till midnight, like if I put it on at 10 and I wear it till like midnight or something, some stuff's going to fade because that's just what happens. But the vibrancy of the teal and stuff is going to stay. So, anywho, I hope that helps you guys uh, understand this a little bit better and how you can make some of your products work um, or some of these colors work together. Um, and like I said, just sticky bases. I like to use, we can use your foundation if it's, you know, not a super matte one, but when it's still got a little um, moisture to it when you put it on there. Concealer. Um, what, do you, what are these things? Eyeshadow bases. Um, things like that, primers, things like that, just something sticky for it to stick to uh, really helps and they'll blend really nicely. Um, if you're doing a fun, super fun look, do your eyes first because you will get some fallout, fallout on some of these. The teal, I don't get as much fallout, but you'll see in the demonstration that I do, like the purple one that's called Royalty. That sucker has some fallout like nobody's business. And there's a couple in here. I think that's the one with the worst fallout to me that I've tried and worked with. Um, but, yeah. So, you're going to get some fallout with some of those darker colors and things. So, just kind of do your eyes first. Or be prepared to fix your makeup. Which I actually will wind up showing you in the tutorial as well. Okay. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you get to the tu tutorial. And, yeah. That's it. Have fun. So I'm going to do this tutorial with you. We're going to make this eye look like this eye. I'm going to tell you the um, shadows I'll be using, but of course we're using this palette. We'll be using the teal kind of color here that's called Pool Party. And then playing in this area here. And the palette is obviously upside down. But that's what we're doing. So I'm going to start by taking a fluffy brush and this one is by It Cosmetics and I'm going to start by going into Silk Cream and I'm just going to hit the crease just to kind of give myself a little bit of color and a little, um, you know what I'm saying, crease action here. And I probably have apologized a million times for the lighting today. I don't know. I'm filming this first, so I don't know what I've already said in the video because I haven't said it yet. But, yeah. Um, hopefully, in, around Christmas time, we'll be getting you stuff. Alright? Um, so then I'm going to go into just a little bit deeper shade. And this one is called Pooter. So just kind of placing that here. And I'm trying to remember and use the same brushes that I used the first time I did my eye today so that they won't be dirty. So now I'm going to take one of my handy dandy things that we 
never use anymore, the sponge tip applicator. I'm gonna spritz it with a little spritz it, spritz it with a little bit of the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. You can use whatever you want. And then I'm just gonna go into the lid area. This is not coming as smoothly. I'm trying to stay in frame. I'm really far away from my mirror because I've had to lift myself up so much. <laughs> so I apologize if it looks a little odd. But what I like about this, you can really get there kind of um, more precisely. If you hear some weird noises, it's my dog. He's making weird noises. I'm actually going to bring it up just above the crease, just a little bit, and really just pack it on there because you can start to thin it out and make it a little powdery if you um, don't keep that packing on there. So I'm going to pack it in there and then I'm just going to take and I'm going to blend out the edge a little bit here. And here we go. Oh, I actually put a little bit of that creamsicle in there before I got started on this one before I even put the teal down just to give it a little bit of that yellow color which is what I just did just now retrograded <laughs> alright so now that's kinda on there we're gonna go in I'm gonna take the little gold color that's called Queen and that's gonna go in the inner corner here and a little bit into that inner third not too far in but just just enough. And then I'm going to take um, another similar type brush. And what did I go into? I went into Beam and actually put that right there in the center corner. And I brought it a little bit out here. Okay, and as per usual, you can just Tap and add more of the teal as you want. For the bottom lid, do a little smudger brush, uh, spread it, <laughs> and go into that purple color called Royalty. I'm looking over at the colors names here. So. And then I just kind of pressed, actually stop that, belay that order. And I'm taking the crease colors first and just going to rub them down here just to give it a little bit of some. If you're new here, the bottom eyeliner is tattooed on if you're wondering where that came from. Alright, now we're going to go into the purple and I don't know if you can see this, it's getting really messy under here so I do recommend if you're going to use the fun colors in this palette, do your eyes first. For some odd reason, I did not do that today, and I wound up having to do exactly what I'm probably going to have to do over here. I had to take a makeup wipe and clean up, and then just kind of reapply some stuff there. So just be aware you're going to get that fallout if you're not careful, and it can look pretty muddy if you're using like these dark shadows like, like the uh, purple here you're gonna see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take a brush and I'm going to blend that out. Now it's going to blend that purple all the way down. Do you see the difference? I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is take the wipe. Go in here. I'm just gonna grab my big mirror and just start cleaning up. Now I'm actually gonna finish my eyes before I go back in and put the stuff back down there because that just makes more sense. So we're almost done there. So what I'm going to do is take, I'm going to grab another clean brush. I feel like they're getting muddy 
now. I'm going to go into that light color we used, so the silk cream. Just kind of put that there. Then I'm going to go back underneath it to the powder color. And just kind of give myself a little bit of extra little color there. It looks so, I keep staring at myself here and here and just kind of going back and forth because it just looks so weird because I'm like looking down at myself, looking up at myself. So strange. Can't wait till I get a new filming set up. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> um, I'm going to go into that beam color and just give myself a little bit, <laughs> say a little bit of highlight, a little bit of highlight. And then I'm going to take a clean, let's make sure you are clean, fluffy brush and just kind of blend all of that down and in. Now if you ever feel like you need to add or take away or do anything, I want a little bit more of that um, purple over here, then just do it. And once again, you see it's it's gotten a little messy there. Now you can put the purple straight up on your eye with one of these things and you'll be fine but since we were putting in and blowing it out it can get a bit of a mess so um, as per usual if you need to add any more you can I'm going to add a little bit more of that gold color called Queen Rupture alright and then I'm going to just go ahead and quickly finish up my eyes like my liner and all of that uh, real quick and I'll be right back. So I'm using the nude and the waterline using a black in the upper waterline and I'm using the Maybelline Curvitude as my liquid liner and then the Cover Girl Super Sizer as uh, my mascara. So I'll be right back. Okay so eyes are done. I'm going to show you just how to fix my situation I have here. Soon, I'm going to just take um, some of my foundation that I use. I'm just putting like a dot of it on the back of my hand. I probably have quite a bit of it still on the brush I use to put on my makeup. If I can find it. There it is. And just kind of putting it here. And trying really hard not to smear any more mascara. Like that. Alright. So just kind of putting it in there. And then for um, the concealer, where's my concealer? I just used this little cheap concealer today. I've actually been really liking it. And just put a dot around because I've already done big triangles everywhere. And my concealer brush, just kind of putting it here. And we should be all fixed up. All right, so. That is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day, gorgeous.